Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing you another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a tomahawk target using a block of hickory. This is, video is actually take two. I just tried cutting this. And if you think my saws are dull in previous videos, this is probably the dullest chain I ever used and I was trying to cut through hickory. So that took cutting about that much. And of course it's cutting at an angle. Took me about four minutes. So that's not gonna fly. And I, I, normally I'd let it slide the other thing I forgot to do was, was tilt the, the camera down so you couldn't even see me cutting, you know, because I was uh, talking to it. But uh, yeah, this time I'll make sure to put the camera down so you can see that. But anyway, this new customer, he called me and he requested, he goes, I got a special request. He ordered some winter wood, which I'm gonna go get that shortly. And he, I thought he was gonna ask just for like a regular block. A lot of people ask for a splitting block so they can put it, put the pieces on it and then chop it with their maul or ax. But no, he's asked, asked for a, a target for his tomahawk. He wanted two foot diameter. I had a hard enough time lifting these up. I'll put a video of when I cut these on the end screen. So if you wanna check that out to see how I got the, it, how I struggled just to lift these up. And I'll measure them here for you in a second. But uh, I, I said, the these are the biggest ones I got. They're readily available. And I he, he said he wants them six inches long or six inches thick and he wanted two foot. But uh, this one right here, it's about 17 by 18 and a half. That one was a little bit bigger, but I think I just, I, well, I'm gonna finish the cut on that and probably just throw it in as, as boiler wood and just hope that this cuts better. The width, the width of this is just over 14. So he's, instead of six inch pieces, he's getting seven inch pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in half. I'm not gonna cut an inch off it. You know, that would be a, ma a major hassle. But also I, before I get into this, what I wanted to let you know what's going on today, I'm going over to Herb's new landing where he's storing all the wood that he got from his previous landing where he took all those logs out of there, he's got a new spot and, a, and he's gonna load it with his uh, skid steer. I'm gonna make a video of that. So that'll be your Monday video because today is Friday, July 24, 2020. So I'm gonna have to upload this later today so you can watch it this evening for your entertainment. But uh, that should make a good video. So anyway, this this should be all warmed up. Yes, I'm not. I'm not wearing any uh, safety gear, and I know my motto is safety first and work harder, not smarter, but I'm only doing one cut. I'm gonna finish that cut, and hopefully this one doesn't take an hour like the last one did. So now I'm gonna remember to turn, the, the, aim the camera down so you can watch me cut. I'll go ahead and finish this one up. Like I said, I just put this chain on. It's one I sharpened. I hope it cuts good. Can't do any worse than the last one.
still kind of cutting at an angle but there you have it tomahawk target what y'all think pull that in What was the other piece? Must be this one right here, I guess. Maybe I should give them all four, what do you think? So still, they still aren't light, I'll tell you that much. And then I'm just gonna have Herb dump his oak right on top of that. So, all right, another short video. Thanks, guys, for making it to the end. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday's video.